Deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest lives one of the most secretive primates in the world, the bald wakari. In fact, if you were to Google news for this animal, one of the top results would be from nearly seven years ago. With a bushy tail and characteristic red face, wakari spend their days in seasonal floodplains known as a varzea. This makes it difficult for researchers to find them and answer even the most basic questions, including where exactly the species is. I looked at methods for detecting wakaris and determined which is the best for future study. These methods were evaluated based on their effectiveness and practicality. Because wakaris are difficult to find, scientists will often attempt to confirm their presence in an area using signs of the animal. The most popular sign to use is discarded fruit parts. Researchers will often travel by canoe to search for these parts. Wakaris are frugivores, so the opportunities for collection of discarded fruit are plentiful, and the task for researchers is straightforward. Unfortunately, flooded forests often make recovery of fruit difficult as it will sink to the bottom. Wakaris also aren't the only thing out there eating fruit so it can be hard to say for certain where exactly the food scrap came from. Oftentimes, fish may eat the fruit part before researchers can get to it. Another method used to detect wakaris is playback call. Researchers choose points and place a portable speaker on a tree branch, which starts playing the call of the species at a standardized time and duration. During the rainy season, researchers may sit in their canoes and play the call from a speaker. This method takes advantage of the fact that wakaris are a vocal species and likely to respond to calls of one of their own. On top of that, playing the call of another animal could mitigate the effect of seeing a human on bald wakari behavior. But in a flooded forest, setting up devices on trees may not be too practical and sitting in a canoe for hours at a time is not necessarily the best use of anyone's time. It also increases the chances of researchers affecting the animal's behavior. On the flip side, playing recordings of the species could also impact the animal's behavior in unnatural ways. I believe that the best method for detecting wakaris is local survey combined with travel reconnaissance walks. In this method, locals are shown pictures of different primate species and asked whether they have seen them. If researchers deem the information credible, they select locations to search for the species. Once at the site, the team will take travel reconnaissance walks. A travel reconnaissance walk is when researchers follow a path through natural or game trails as directly as possible. The team makes notes of what they see and compares them at the end of the walk. This method is great because it narrows down the areas that researchers focus on. The involvement of the local community is essential to long-term conservation success of the species and allows researchers to benefit from the expertise of those who have lived in the region their whole life. This method was used in the early 2010s to help discover a new population of the species in northeast Peru demonstrating its effectiveness. It requires no fancy equipment that could prove faulty in the tough habitat of the wakari, making it exceptionally practical. Any study using this method would have to be done during the dry season, as trails will be very difficult to maneuver while the Varsea is flooded. Walking natural trails will bias the study, but this is not as much of an issue when the researchers are simply looking to detect the presence of an animal. I would like to acknowledge the literature used to explore detection methods. I would also like to thank Dr. McCleary and Alex for their teaching this semester. And thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you learned something about wakaris. They truly are an amazing animal. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. Until next time. <laughs>